Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to HRL Season 14 Cup Race Number 5 after a uh, short gap. Uh, I'm running solo for this race. Fireball is unfortunately unable to join us. He is, uh, well, actually, funny story. He was on his way home driving, you know, driving home to uh, to do the recording for this race and suddenly he got pulled over by the cops. Uh, uh, he had been drinking and uh, yeah, I'll let Fireball explain the rest of that. But uh, yeah, so I'm running solo for this race. Uh, race number five. We are back to the GPs. This is... I'm going to absolutely bot botch the uh, pronunciation of this. This is Lock Erak? Erak? GP? Um, not sure who forged this track. Um, I'm not sure if it was Luke. Uh, this is a continuation of the double header. So the last race we saw in Portugal, uh, Portugal Rallycross, we immediately finished that race and jumped into the second of two races. Uh, the second one being this GP, and you can see that it starts off as a GP and then suddenly becomes a little bit of a sort of oval section for the last few corners before you then hit the last corner and make it back to the line. Now, even though this is a double header, uh, you're fucking kidding me. You are kidding me. All right, so as I was saying, uh, clearly Fireball uh, hacked into my internet for the joke I made about him. Uh, this is a continuation from the double header at Portugal. Unfortunately, uh, two of the drivers that were in the first race have dropped out. Uh, you can see me here, uh, but unfortunately I'm not racing in this, uh, due to, uh, uh, Smoky Massacre. Uh, he can explain it. Uh, so we are down to 11 drivers. Uh, Irish is the other person, or Crown Ferret is the other driver who is absent from this race. So we have 11 drivers left. Uh, because it's a double header, no heats, we go straight into Moto 1, and here is the starting order. Starting on pole, we have Detail. This is also, I believe, based off of the results of the second Moto from Portugal, I think. So I think that's how the lineup was done. Detail first, Luke second, uh, Pancake third, Fireball fourth, uh, Slaunch fifth, Armada sixth, Roman seventh, Arpix, I believe this is, in 8th. Uh, Soul 9th, Killer 10th, and we still have the Sack, Sakeshi, racing here in 11th. We have 11 laps of uh, fun GP magic. Let's see what's going to happen. Lights have already been hit. Drivers waiting to go. Once lights go out, we will be underway. And we are off here at the lock. Reasonably clean start from everybody. Drivers at the front, somebody's trying to make moves. Looks like it's Pancake and Fireball going hard on each other. Around some of these sharp corners. Sakeshi dives in and almost makes it work, but doesn't get a bad exit. Uh, gets a bad exit. They make their way up the hill, around this huge uh, corner. Somebody, looks like Soul's making moves down the inside, gets past two people, Roman and Slange, and moves into the top six. And now you're into a very curvy section, uh, really test your, uh, your driving abilities. Somebody's trying to force their way past Roman there, I think it might have been Slange. Then round another banked corner as Fireball makes a mistake. And now we go into the big jump that leads into the oval. Can you hit it right? Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm gonna have to get a replay of this, Sakeshi! Soul stuck! Oh no, Soul! Soul Reaper! That is absolutely... That's painful. That's absolutely painful, and we're gonna already need a replay of that magic. Uh, this is uh, the front runners. We actually see it right off the bat. Fireball hits the front corner, makes a mistake. Uh, and then we will... Let's have a look at... Let's go... Actually, let's get it on with Sol, because he was having a good start. You can see him in sixth place here. Fireball hits it. Sol hits it. He lands on Pancake, and that just sends him into an absolute rut. That is so unlucky for Sol. You can see it again here. Fireball hits the corner, they all stack up, they're all right next to each other, Soul goes for it, 
and he just lands right in front of Pancake. Gets a bad bounce. Pancake obviously crashes out. Slaunch gets affected by that. Um, and then just lands. <laughs> that is just so unlucky the way he ends up landing against the back wall. Oh, I mean, that is rough. From sixth place, trying to battle to get into third. That is super, super unfortunate. You can also see uh, what went down with Roman. Uh, he also did not come out of this very well. Look at Oh, he just clips the rock and goes for a huge bounce. Uh, gets a full dismount as well, but does still stay ahead of Killer. Uh, and then one last one, which has to be, of course, Sakeshi. Oh, actually, Sakeshi. Okay, well, Sakeshi briefly got past Killer. Killer took the position back. And then uh, perhaps it's due to uh, lack of practice, but uh, Sakeshi did not know that that was a sharp right-hand turn. And uh, almost, uh, actually, he almost brushed Sol, which would have, uh, which maybe would have helped him, uh, well, it would have certainly helped Sol get out of the predicament he was in. What a great first lap that was. And all of it means that Fireball is now in third place. As another incident happens, Slot spins out having gone into fourth place. He spins out on turn one and loses three positions. That is going to help Pancake big time. Armada is a huge winner here. He's into the top five now. Uh, Arpex also a good start or benefiting off of that chaos based on his starting position. He's now in the top six. Slot has dropped back. Roman... I mean, Roman could have maybe got a, gotten a, a good move up the ranks with all that chaos that happened, but of course he got clipped on the rock, so he's not really made any gains. And then the back markers here, you've got Killer, uh, Sakeshi, and Soul, who is now just trying to make this damage limitation, trying to re gain as many positions as he can off of this race. Does everybody hit the... Uh, oh, somebody didn't hit the uh, the jump into the other very well. Arpex. But he still does stay ahead of Roman. Kind of unfortunate, actually, that uh, Hunter was unable to do this race. GP is absolutely his strong suit. Um, but, you know, that's the way the cards fall when uh, people decide to do uh, YouTube premieres. Uh, let's take a look at the lead battle. It is between Luke and Pancake. Oh, actually, although having said that, am I missing? Oh, no, sorry, that's between Detail and Luke. Pancake was uh, had, uh, got caught up in that chaos going into the Oval section. Luke, of course, uh, had a big point swing go his way on Portugal uh, ahead of Pancake. Pancake, the early pace setter, the early leader in the championship, but Luke made up a ton of points on Pancake uh, based off of the two motors on Portugal. He's in a strong position now as well, battling for the lead as Detail makes a mistake and Luke just hops right over him into the lead. Pancake we can see here in fourth. Uh, Armada still holding on to fifth. Slaunch recovering to sixth. Apex has dropped back to seventh. Killer making some gains actually in ninth. Soul has got past Sakeshi and here is Sakeshi. Sakeshi hits it a little bit better, but still not that great. Armada is in a really solid position here. GP, a top five for uh, Armada. Um, it's going to be pretty damn hard for him to hold on to it with Slaunch right on his tail. But, you know, he performed pretty well at Portugal. And, um, you know, that showed with the result he got in Moto2 on Portugal with a strong finishing position. You know, if he could finish in the top six... Uh, on the basis that Slaunch might pass him if he finishes in 6th. That is another good result for Armada. Battle going on here between Arpex and Roman. Uh, looks like the gap is still as it was. Let's see this oval jump again. Detail plays it a lot safer this time as Fireball goes long. Pancake doesn't go long. Doesn't even make the corner, but he doesn't get any kind of bad bounce. And they're getting reasonably close to each other. I think the gap has definitely come down a little bit between Fireball and Pancake as we go on to whatever lap this is. Uh, it is lap number five, so already four laps completed. Looks like, oh, hang on a minute, Armada is behind Slaunch. We're going to have to get a replay to see what happened here. 
It looks like the ins the past must have already happened. Oh, he hits the tree, and rather than block Slaunch, he just backs up so Slaunch can get on by uh, and allow, obviously, Armada to get a clean restart or get back onto the track nice and clean. I assumed the pass happened in the oval section, although that did not help his chances. He does still stay ahead of Roman, and that actually helps Arpex because it looked like... It looked like... Hold on, I just had Arpex. Here we go. Yeah, Roman did get the pass on Arpex going into the corner before the oval section, but then uh, Armada's spin out meant that Roman lost his speed. Arpex took it to the inside and took the position back, and then he loses another position as Killer is making a hell of a run. Is Killer going to be able to get Arpex on the inside here? It looks like he might. Can Arpex take it on the last corner? Yes. Well, not the best of exits, and Killer gains two positions after that. And Roman just clips the back of Arpex. Roman's having a rough time um, clipping up. Well, just get, getting stuck on the back of Arpex's goose. Armada makes another mistake. Killer is trying to make some smooth moves. Up the field here. Can he get an inside dive on Armada here going into this bank corner? No, he can't. Armada's too far ahead, and Roman takes the position off of Arpex. Is Roman going to leave enough space just about for Arpex? Arpex can't fight back. This is a crazy battle going on right now for sixth place. We might as well just stay on board with this for a little bit. Look how close these four drivers are. Killer. All right, that's a pretty good run through that corner. This could decide it here, this oval, uh, this jump into the oval section. Uh, Killer plays it safe, Arpex goes long, almost gets the pass on Roman, but Roman does manage to keep his position in eighth. Uh, Armada, must have, uh, Armada actually got a really good jump for it because I think he slightly increased the gap over Killer here. Um, what about the guys behind? Who is actually behind Arpex? Is it still, it's still Sol. Uh, and then Sakeshi. Uh, in 11th. I think we might as well just keep on board with this battle whilst trying to keep an eye on the lead. Killer leading this front pack. Armada trying to pull away. And this is great to see from two drivers in Armada and Killer who maybe are not well known for their driving skill or driving ability. But at the minute, they are performing in front of Way more experienced drivers like Roman and Arpex. Arpex, uh, you know what? Armada had a pretty cheesy run through that. That has allowed Killer to cut the gap. Is he going to go for a dive? No, he doesn't. Armada takes the corner very nicely. Arpex has backed off just a little bit from Roman. Into the big jump. Roman goes for it. But Killer just about stays in front. Yeah, if you think experienced drivers, Roman, uh, you know, he was a contender, I think, for one of the championships back in the old days, maybe season five. Could be wrong there, but, you know, Roman, pretty consistent driver. has got plenty of podiums and race wins under his belt. Uh, Arpex, a super experienced driver. Been having a little bit of a rough season with this um, season 14 cup, but he did have, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, he did have that third place overall in the oval on Clarion, his own track. Um, so, now Apex, apart from that, has been a pretty rough going. But still, you know, to see Armada and Killer holding out in front of these two drivers, can they hold on? Armada at least has the buffer at the minute of knowing that Killer is holding up Roman. So that will definitely be to Armada's benefit. Killer is getting super defensive to just try and keep Roman behind him. Let's take a quick look at the oval jump. Is Roman going to go long again? No, he doesn't. But Roman gets an amazing run through that corner. And he finally gets the pass done on Killer. Hill was doing a really good job on that jump. But Roman just about managed to get a clean run uh, without clipping the back of Killer's goose. And now he's going to go hunting after Armada. Let's get back looking at this race uh, race lead battle, because we haven't looked at it in a while. It looks like it is still... Oh, hang on a minute. Is this... Oh, no. Oh, no, hold on, sorry. Uh, this must mean Luke is in the lead. Luke is in the lead, battling with Sakeshi. 
uh, although it's not a battle. Uh, he's honking to get Sakeshi out of the way, and Sakeshi does a good job of moving aside. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear. If there was an award for the amount of head-on collisions you can get in a, into a straight wall uh, in a single race, then Sakeshi might have taken it at this point. Luke, I don't know if Detail made a mistake, but Luke has got a hell, is not only past Detail, but he's got a hell of a lead on him, and he's now got Pancake right behind him. Uh, so maybe Fireball must have also made a mistake, um, uh, because Pancake obviously is past Fireball. We go on to lap number nine. So we've only got three laps left. Soul and Opix are battling. Soul has made up a hell of a lot of time here on Opix. And Soul gets a brilliant run on the outside. Looks like Roman has got the move done on Armada as well. So we're just going to take a look at a quick replay here to see how all this cheese went down. So actually at one point during the race, Fireball had gotten right up alongside Detail, battling for second place. Uh, Luke had obviously got the pass on Detail uh, earlier on, but then uh, Fireball and Pancake had closed the gap massively, and you can see all three of them right in a battle with each other. I think this was all going on at the same time as when that four-way battle for sixth place was happening. Um, but if we just uh, speed along the process a little bit, just to see exactly what happened. You can see Pancake there just forced his way past Fireball. Right there on the last, uh, the last corner of the S section. Uh, you know, it was, it was, it was a, not really rough, but you know, it was tough but fair racing is probably the way to describe it. And that is how... Uh, these three drivers got themselves into the positions they were in. Fireball really tried to go for it. Um, you know, risk versus reward, and it was a risk that did not pay off. And that is also how Fireball has ended up uh, falling a little bit behind Pancake there. Uh, since we're just carrying on with the replays, here is a quick run of uh, how Roman managed to get past Armada to move himself into the top six. Same area of the track. Um, Armada just a little bit squiggly, and he hits that tree again. Uh, and that allows uh, uh, Roman to move up into the top six. So Armada's really solid work being in fifth place, uh, slightly undone, thanks to hitting that tree twice. You know, he's hit the oval jump brilliantly on almost every lap. So it's hugely gutting for him that uh, the positions he's lost have been due to uh, hitting, uh, just hitting a tree uh, going into uh, one of the corners in the middle part of the track. All right, we're picking it back up here with the battle for second place. We got Pancake, Detail, and Fireball. Pancake managing to increase the lead slightly. Detail dropping off. Fireball gaining on Detail. Who is going to be the unlucky driver that misses out on the podium here? These four guys have been the front runners across all of the races we've seen so far in this um, revamped season. Fireball is going long on every j attempt at that jump now, and he's probably going to continue to do that for these last few laps. Luke crossed the line to go on to lap 10, I believe. Or is it lap 11? Is this, it might actually be the final lap actually coming up here. It is actually, sorry, we are on last lap. So let's see what is gonna happen here for taking the podium. It looks like as long as Pancake doesn't make a mistake, uh, second place will be his, which is a pretty decent recovery considering that he was caught up in that chaos on lap one. But can Detail hold on to third place? Or is Fireball going to try and go for it? Is he going to try and go for it on the oval jump or can he get close enough to him early on in the, uh, or certainly earlier on in the track? If he's going to do it, it might be in this S section. But Detail hits it cleanly enough. Fireball, they're going into the arch turn with the huge tree. Gets through it nicely. This is the moment. Can Fireball nick the podium off Detail right here? Ah, De oh, no. Fireball plays it safe. And actually, to be honest, it might have been the smarter option because he's right up Detail's arse. Yes, that is arse. But uh, it looks like it's going to be too little too late. Luke has taken the win. Pancake. 
takes second place. And Detail does hold on to third with Fireball right behind him in fourth. And this gap back to fifth is pretty darn huge. I don't know if Slaunch made a mistake, but he had a way bigger gap than this uh, for fifth place. But he is still going to come home in fifth. Roman sixth. Armada got close to Roman again at the end there, but still only seventh. Killer, that's a pretty good job coming in eighth place, finishing ahead of three drivers. Soul managed to not only make up the position on Sakeshi, but uh, the position on Apex as well. So Apex rounds out the top 10. And Sakeshi, actually, to be fair, not as far behind as I thought, uh, unless he's a lap down, which I really hope he isn't. He's, oh, I was about to say he's not, he is, but uh, Sakeshi still comes home in 11th, which is uh, still points on the board. So let's take a look at those results again, as they were on the screen right now. Uh, Luke, as I say, with another win uh, and another two points gained on Pancake. Uh, and that is the rest of the field. Let's see what's going to happen in Moto number two.